This time on Filmmaker, we are looking at the films of Spike Jones. Jones has had an eclectic career, to say the least, starting in skate films before becoming one of the most respected music video directors of all time, and then going on to direct a handful of well-regarded feature films before moving on to quirky shorts. It's those full-length movies that we're going to be focusing on here, and there are some real gems, so let's count them down. Number five, Beastie Boys Story. You might question whether Jones's most recent film should even be on the list, as it's a weird mishmash of live theater show and documentary more than it's an actual movie, but it's worth talking about if only to mention how amazing his work with the Beastie Boys was. For my money, Sabotage is still the greatest music video ever made. But if we're just talking about Beastie Boys story, it really is a quirky fringe fest style stage show that will appeal to fans like me, but it isn't for everyone. Number four, where the wild things are. It was always going to be tough to turn a 10 sentence picture book into a full length movie, but Jones takes an admirable crack at it with help from co-writer David Eggers, and it does kind of work. As long as you're in that perfect window of enjoying quirky kids' movies that are made specifically for adults, it's too complex and dark for kids, which is a big part of the reason why it didn't work at the box office, but it's found a cult following with folks that enjoy the style, the voice acting, and the phenomenal soundtrack by Karen O oh and the Kids. Number three, being John Malkovich. Spike Jones' first film was one heck of a debut. He came onto the scene with high expectations and he delivered. Co-written with the always quirky Charlie Kaufman, the concept is fantastically original. The memorable parts are extremely memorable. The seventh and a half floor, the marionettes, and of course, the window into the titular Malkovich, who is an incredibly good sport. It deserves all the praise it got for the script and the super evil Catherine Keener. But as good as it is, and it really is good, and as great as Jones's direction was, it does have a few small stumbles that his top two films don't. Number two, Adaptation. Jones's second collaboration with Kaufman was maybe a bit more grounded than the first, which is a very strange thing to say about a meta script involving two Nicolas Cages that is both a movie about the real life writer trying to write the movie combined with the movie he is trying to write. It also led to a make-believe person being nominated for an Oscar. There is such a fine line with these kinds of meta films between self-serving and smart, and thankfully, this one hits the balance just right. It also helps the Meryl Streep, Nicolas Cage, and especially Chris Cooper go all in with their characters, and Jones manages to expertly tie it all together to create a sensible internal logic out of the chaos. Number one, Her. This film is purely Spike Jones from top to bottom. This is the only script that he wrote fully on his own, and the result is a very human look at loneliness and relationships in a not too distant future where nobody wears belts and OS systems have gained full sentience. It's a subtle, slow-burning anti-romance that captures something other films haven't been able to in a way that's still so enthralling. Joaquin Phoenix is given the tough task of carrying 90% of the screen time on his own, and he more than delivers. But Scarlett Johansson's also exceptional in her voice-only performance, and the supporting cast that includes Chris Pratt, Rooney Mara, and especially Amy Adams all shine in their small roles. It has a kind of modern poetry to it, not just the words, but the design and the colors and the slow, steady flow and that arcade fire soundtrack. It's all perfectly executed pieces of a surprisingly effective and touching puzzle. And that is it. Which is your favorite of Jones's films? Those top three are especially difficult to grade as they're all phenomenal. Also, please do like and subscribe, and hopefully we will see you all next time. <laughs>